Hi there, this is Jen, and thanks so much for stopping by the Scrapbook Pal YouTube channel today. Today I am creating a card using one of the beautiful die sets from Honeybee Stamps. It is from the Lovely Layers line, and these are the mums. And uh, Honeybee Stamps has a very helpful um, kind of layering guide on their website that you can go ahead and download, and that's what I have done. Um, I've gone ahead and downloaded and printed that out. And the layering is by number, so it's M1 through M5 for the main flower. And I've gone ahead and written those numbers to correspond with with the dies so that I know exactly which die to use where. And the guide is really helpful because it also has shading so it kind of tells you which um, petals or pieces to do lighter and which to do darker. Um, I don't know that I really followed that on my card. Um, I don't think I've ever created a flower or a just a die um, a piece with some pattern paper and so what I've done is I've gone through my stash and picked out some coordinating papers and that's what I'm going to be using for the uh, mum for the main mum <laughs> in uh, this card today and so I've run those all through my die cut machine and I've placed the each piece on the piece that matches up with it on the paper and the, that is what I'm going to use um, to assemble my um, pieces. Um, but before I do that, I am taking some Distress Oxide in antique linen and a finger dauber and I'm just going around the edges just to add a little more color um, since the um, papers are pretty um, in neutral. I thought I'd um, add a little bit of extra color just to the edges. And so I'll go ahead and do that for um, all of my pieces. And then I'm going to start shaping them. So if you have flower shaping tools, um, those are helpful for this. I'm just going to use my fingers. And the little creases that the die creates in the petals is basically where I am um, pinching the paper together to create a little bit of movement and dimension in each of the layers. And so... I have gone ahead and set that first layer back down on the um, layering guide and then I'm going to take the next piece which is M2 and I will add glue just to the center piece. Um, the petals are going to kind of be lifted up and so I didn't want to glue those flat onto that first piece. Um, but what I'm doing is I am looking at the picture for M2 on the layering guide and I am placing that uh, next um, layer onto the previous layer exactly as it has pictured. So you can see me kind of lining that paper up with the picture from the layering guide and putting it exactly how the um, picture shows. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do it or not, but um, I thought that would be the easiest way for me to kind of figure out um, which direction each of these layers is to go in. And so um, I've gone ahead and layered all of those pieces and then I'm just going to fluff it up a little bit. Uh, move the paper around with my fingers again and give it um, a little bit of dimension. I also add some foam dots in between some of the layers to make sure that those um, stand up. And then here I'm going to continue kind of fluffing that. And then for that last piece, which is the center piece, I am using some gold paper and then also some gold glitter paper. And again, really easy to assemble. Um, the layering guide is uh, super helpful uh, with every step of this process. So these three pieces are actually M6, M7, and M8. And I'm going to go ahead and put that together. And, and I wanted that center piece to pop up away from the flower, kind of rounded over, I guess. And so I've added two foam dots to that piece and a little bit of glue and I'm going to go ahead and stick that foam dot down and then kind of push on the sides so I get that rounded over look in the center. Fitted in this die set is another set of dies that create a smaller flower almost like a closed flower and I'm going to go ahead and color those with some pixie sparkles and I'm using the color sandstorm and pumpkin patch and the paper that I've used to die cut these out is some watercolor paper. 
And so what I've done is I've gotten a little um, container of water and I have just put those pixie sparkles on my craft mat and I am taking a brush and dipping it in the water and then dipping it in the sparkles and then just basically painting the um, flowers. And so I started with the pumpkin patch, which is the darker color, and then the sandstorm is kind of like a yellow, a gold color. And I'm just mixing those together um, to get a really nice um, a blend of those two colors. And then there are two leaf dies in the set. And so I have gone ahead and used some watercolor cardstock and cut out several of those leaves with my die cutting machine. And I'm using some Distress Oxides to color these. So the color I'm using now is the Shabby Shutters. Uh, it's the lighter color and it's a Distress Oxide. And then I'm gonna take the peeled paint, um, which is a darker color, and just go around the edges just to define um, those leaves a little bit more. And for the smaller flower, I went ahead and I'm going to layer um, the paper that I colored earlier with some of the patterned paper. So the pattern paper I'm using is kind of that cream colored paper with the gold dots on it. And so for the first one, I'm going to start with the piece that was colored with the pixie sparkles. And so I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to the back of that and I'm going to adhere it to that pattern paper. And then there is a third um, a piece that's going to go on top of that um, and there's actually a fourth piece which is the little um, area where uh, the stem meets the flower I don't know what that's called <laughs> but I on this first one I'm going to go ahead and use the glitter uh, gold glitter cardstock for that piece and then on the other flower I'm just going to alternate it uh, differently so um, this first flower I use pattern paper and then the pixie sparkles paper and then pattern paper again and on that second flower I'm going to use the pixie sparkles uh, paper the pattern paper and then the pixie, pixie sparkles paper again um, it's just four pieces so really um, easy to assemble and I also went ahead and cut out two stems using the stem die that is in the set and then I'm going to move on to assembling the leaves. So what I decided to do was to stack two of the leaves together. So I cut out a few more um, using the leaf die cut. Um, a few with that darker green paper behind it. It adds a really nice um, a shadow to the leaf and makes the uh, leaf a little bit thicker. And I also um, die cut a few pieces of that gold glitter card stock. And I'm just leaving a hint of that behind the um to the leaves just to give it a little bit of um glittery shine there and once i have that done i'm gonna uh, go ahead and shape these with my fingers I'm mainly just pushing in towards the center where the veins of the leaves are and then um, those are all of my assembled pieces then i'm going to take this really nice stencil from alta new this is called uh, a sphere sphere <laughs> stencil and i'm using some tattered rose and dried marigold uh, distress oxides um, to complement the colors of the flowers and then once I remove that stencil, I'll go ahead and dry fit all of my pieces and then um, permanently glue them down. I also added um, to the finished card a few of the uh, Pink Press Studios uh, jewels. These are the Glacier Jewels. And I also added some of the Alta New enamel dots um, from the Tea Party set. Um, the sentiment for this card is actually from Honeybee as well, and uh, it is a stamp set, and you can get matching dies for it, and it is called Inside Kindness, and it's a really great um, sentiment set. I would love to know if you think I should cut the um, leaves that are hanging over the edge of the card off. I kind of struggled with whether or not to, to cut them off. And so for now, I just left them, but I'm not really sure that I like it. So I would love to hear what you think. Um, but that is it for me for my video today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did like this video or find it informative, um, I would love if you would give a thumbs up. We would also love if you would subscribe to the Scrapbook Pal YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of the design team's um, a fabulous ideas and inspiration. Um, and that is it for me today. Um, thanks so much for hanging out with me today, and I hope to see you next time.